YouTube, we are back with some commentary and this is the first set of BT14 uh, videos that we have here. Uh, this was taken at our locals at Sully's last week. We've got two rounds for you this time. Uh, first round will be myself playing Mirage Gao on the left and Gunther playing uh, Dressmon on the right. Pretty exciting match, um, if I remember correctly. A lot of good back and forth. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm joined today by Arby and TJ, and we'll oh. be providing some commentary as things go along. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Yeah. So yeah, I think this will be oh. pretty exciting. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to in BT14, so we'll be seeing a lot of variety, a lot of refreshing decks, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, while well, I'm mostly a bystander for this one, I'm excited to see y'all do this. This is going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. New and refreshing decks such as Raj Kalgamon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I figured, you know, with BT14, there's some support, mainly in the training cards that I thought Mirage would able to benefit mm. from. And I wanted to see how it would pilot with the, with the new ban list in effect. So first turn, I just able to climb into my Galga and then we see Gunter doing the same sort of going up the line doing Huckmon to bow Huck and then he drops the searcher Huck to go top five picks up two which is still one of the best searchers in the game probably just trying to set those pieces in hand is but yeah. both decks definitely both decks need a little bit of time to set up unless they see exactly the perfect cards so yep Speaking of search, I do the same. I do a V-Mon to only pick up Thomas. Um, bottom decking the two other Gaumons. And I go into Galga to play the said Thomas. So, pretty good start, I think, from what I was at, if I remember. And you'll play yeah, out my Tamer and kind of just set up a board. Yeah, the memory efficient. It, it, it doesn't quite choke him, but... You know, it gives him less memory than it. Yeah, did. which was just something I was really scared about seeing his line in the back with the new hug and then the beep, the, <laughs> the new bow hug just gaining memory off of so many things. Mm, yeah, the 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 bow hug gaining memory off was it playing a sister mod, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so you can go into swings and oh, hits into that training boost. Those are such good cards. <laughs> I mean, even if that's the only addition to a lot of yeah. decks. Their, their ability to search, uh, not only for Digimon, but like also uh, just a blue card in general, and then reduced mm -hmm. Digimon costs is pretty invaluable for yeah. a lot, especially the big, like these two decks, which want big stacks, <laughs> um, it definitely helps. And um, blue having access to Buka in general, too, as an egg now is insane. Yeah, Buka's such a crazy egg, and also mistranslated um again <laughs> so here gunter could just correct me i kind of missed the sequencing of it um basically saying the next time it does digivolve i have to so like procking it i have to digivolve into it i can't like do something like yeah. proc it do something and then digivolve so we're yeah. just kind yeah. of correcting the sequencing there um so i say okay yeah, fair enough i swing and it's like okay fine then we'll use it to go into the the knockout yeah, the the delay effect on um, the trainings triggers the digivolution, mm -hmm. and then on that digivolution, yeah, they they reduce the cost by two. Yeah, because I think what have ideally I would have liked to do would have been just like go straight into the Makao and probably I don't know I, I think I just like mistimed it there, but I think it's okay. He goes ahead and push oh. up his savior hook, goes into a Jess, which is the starter deck Jess. Mm -hmm. um, so he's thinking about how he wants to sequence things. He blitzes over my guy. Mm. So where does he get the blitz from? The starter deck. Starter deck. Oh, it's oh, oh, starter Jess. I thought it was Jess X. Yeah. 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 Uh, his, his build is a little different from Jarrell's. Jarrell, uh, yeah. I know, doesn't run. I, I don't think he runs it at all. Um, he has Jess X in his hand. That's why. I, that's why I yeah. thought I saw him put down because oh, yeah. of the glare. So then he plays the seal to gain a memory, gains a memory off of Bowhuck, mm -hmm. restands off of Savior's effect, the now unrestricted Savior, then goes ahead and yep. swings in a security for now two checks. 
Uh, when you guys think about other effects to proc off, which then allows them to play the Digivolve Seal, which allows him then to go into Jess X, oh, which then so... allows him to spit out. It's so dirty. <laughs> more sisters. <laughs> yeah. Does he have another? Um... So he goes ahead and plays the reboot sister, or sorry, not the reboot sister, the decoy sister. Yeah, um, sister game. Pitches one to draw two. Where does he gain another memory from? Oh, from the. From the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Evoing. Yeah. Um. So I think you mentioned it too. Like this is th a little different from the Jarrell's build that we've seen. You know, typically in our videos, I think Gunter's doing like more of the OTK version. Um as opposed to Jarrell's sort of like Jess X focused or GX focused build, mm -hmm. um, yeah. which, oh, Jesus, he goes into Chimera. I remember how nutty this was. Yeah, he what a slip in a Huckmon underneath. And he's got that, that cheeky security plus one Greymon in there too in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> goes into Jess X to play it. Play out, I believe, yeah, he's just trying to think which one. Plays out this guy to gain two because <laughs> he has that yeah. Pokemon underneath. Lock on. Oh, Jesus. God, I can swings for one. Yeah, just the one check. Um... I don't remember, I was like watching this play out. I was just like, good lord. Like, <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, so yeah. much trouble. You had five security at the start of the turn. Yeah. Um, and then he goes ahead and, play, and then just to top it off, just plays the blocker. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me that Jessmon's not doing better in JP right now with how what Jessmon is capable of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, I gotta do something, even though I'm looking at a board that's like surrounded by like blockers, DP boosts, all of that good stuff. Um, the arrow V is sort of like. I don't know. He's just sort of there. Now that he has blockers on the field, I'm like, I can't really do anything. My only really, like, best bet, I think, is to just, like, stall out. So I do. I end up just, like, stripping his Jess X um, and just hoping for something in security to help yeah. me stall. But at this point, I'm just sort of in a bad spot. Did you not have a Mirage Gal in hand? Nope. I had burst uh, modes in hand. I just didn't have any uh, Mirage. Okay. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, you really in the in these matchups, really whoever just you know pulls the trigger faster. Yeah, this and then quick, I mean I think. Draw matches. I think he. I think he, he. Yeah, he wants. Yeah, and then he chimeras. Yeah, so chimeras. Yeah. Chimeras again. Yeah. I well, his other just his other just could still could have still swung too because it didn't yeah. get rid of all the sources. So. And then yeah. I drew into. Him. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably, right? Oh no! Not the double mirage. Ain't that just the way? Yeah. I mean, I think. I think we'll we'll probably see this as like, the subsequent like games play out, but I don't know. I think mirage is still okay. Um, I think there are definitely decks that can play around it. Like, for example, like, Jess, right? Like, BT-13 Mirage is pretty much, like, useless. In yeah. the sense that, like, you can't bounce a Tamer. Yeah. You can't really bounce. bounce anything. So it's like, you can go into Mirage, but, like, otherwise you're not really doing a lot with it. And then if sure. you're not seeing, like, my right pieces, I just, I'm just, like, a sitting duck. I think the only, the only thing that BT-13, um... Mirage Gal has over uh, was BT twelve or BT eleven. BT eleven is that it has evade, so like yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you can just avoid dying. But even evade that, doesn't really help you here. No, not when he's swinging with just one twice. Right. <laughs> yeah. Not when when that one saved your Huck is on the field. Going into the next game. Next game. So this was rough to start for me. Um, yeah. and I remember Mike and Will came in towards the like middle of the game, and Will or Mike was like, or no, Will, it was Will who was just like, wait, what? Because <laughs> he was looking at my board. He's like, what the hell is going on? So I don't have a rookie yet, so I go out and play a training just to surge. Mm -hmm. Don't hit a rookie, but do hit a burst mode. So I'm like, I gotta pick up a burst mode. Um, and then Gunther's able to build. He goes Huck, and then Bow yes. Huck, which I'm like, God. 
Here we go that's, again. That's a scary <laughs> situation. Save, save your hook in hand. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Um, no, we're both, cool. we both were struggling to find our line, I think, at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and that was a rough mem boost for him, sort of having a bottom deck, his sisters, and the uh, Master the Disciple. I'm still not heading a rookie, so I play a Thomas to try to find a rookie, which I don't, again. I have a bunch oh. of level four, so I'm like, well, if he has what he has, then I'm in huge trouble if I like spit out a ton of memory to him, so I just pass. Oh, no. Running Memboos and Jess is kind of interesting, too, because yeah. I feel like it's very risky. Yeah. Luckily, he's not finding much either, so he just plays out a tie. I'm like, well, shit, <laughs> no rookie yet, so Thomas. Um, and then I ended up drawing into the memory setter Thomas from that, so I'm like, oh boy, we're in huge trouble. <laughs> So he's still searching, luckily. Um, he wasn't able to really see his line either, and he can't pick up anything from that sister, which is unfortunate. Yeah, no Royal Knight. And here I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Because I don't have a rookie still, so I just go ahead and play the Memory Setter Thomas. Um, and I'm just like, I, I was ready once to you, just like... <laughs> once like, you find that rookie, once you find that rookie, if, uh, if he doesn't kill you in a single turn... <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're set. Like, I'm like looking at his board. He's got a boost. He's got master to disciple tie, and then that scary build up in the back. And like once he hits the level five, I'm cooked. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't grab the from master to disciple here to dig mm -hmm. more. But I guess he yeah. just wanted to dig deeper um, this turn. And still, looks like he still isn't having uh, any luck finding level five. Yeah, and uh, I'm like, I, I still don't draw into a rookie. So at this point, I'm like, well, I have three memory. He's going to go to three. Go. Yeah. Take take your three. Play out of body. Hope it lives. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's that's probably the best you, you can hope for. Yeah. Um, the situations, you just let, just let Jesus take the wheel, right? <laughs> <laughs> Either I, I live or I die. <laughs> let, let Feng Long take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think the more I'm like, obviously it's frustrating to break, but I think the thing that I was hoping that Mirage, could, or not hoping, but I was just like wondering to see like, is there anything else I could do? Like the way I, at least I play Mirage is that I try to go for like OTK and like hit mm -hmm. the combo, which I think is the way you should be playing it. Cause I yeah. think in the fours and the fives, like there's not much you can do with your fours and fives outside of maybe some board control here and there. I don't you know how you guys up, feel about it. Yeah, I think you can you can set up the blocker, but Raj having only you know one blocker uh, realistically, it just doesn't one blocker doesn't do enough in this format. I feel mm -hmm. like um, D Brigade, D, both D Brigade and Fenriluga just spit out way too many bodies um, and have way too many checks for you to just you yeah. know move off one blocker. So I I don't know if it's that valuable. I mean, I, I guess in certain such like very niche situations, having having the blocker um, mock gao is good, but yeah, I, I think you're right in that you just wanna you just wanna see the OTK. Yeah. So here we had Gunter Chimera. Uh, he cracked his boost and disciple to go into starter deck. Jess yeah. used his ability when swinging to poop out something. He thinks he's thinking about which one to play out. Thinking about it a bit, yeah. I think the only the only real merit from running the blocker BT11 Mirage Gal in the current mm -hmm. format is just the DP boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In case your jamming is inactive. Yeah. Or being able or to swing, swing over something. Yeah. So, plays out a seal. Uh, doesn't have the... Ooh. So, he didn't have the ability to warp up. And then he did gain two memory, but unfortunately hit a burst Absolutely. mode in security. <laughs> which popped a stack, which was like... That's that yep. Jesus was truly taking the wheel for me on that one. Yeah, that's I think the. That would have <laughs> yeah. been toast. Those are those are some answered prayers right there. <laughs> uh, uh, and he's like, I'm in trouble now. So he goes into like Greymon, and then he's like, Okay, well we go savior, savior effect to play out a sister, which is not yeah. bad. If you can gain memory and keep turn, he can still pull stuff off. Mm-hmm. Which. Yeah, he, he has the... 
It is a sister mod effect to mm -hmm. get when digivolving. Right, and then, oh yeah. Pitches so, to draw two. Yeah, now struggling to find a six, which is unfortunate. Goes into a starter deck Jess again. Uh, oh, chooses to blitz. Mind. He has two checks after he plays out something, so he's choosing to play out the blocker to draw one. One card and then just have and protection. And he stands 12. Three checks actually now because of uh, the tie. Yeah. Actually, he, she shouldn't he have had a three. Yeah, it would have been just two. Which is something yeah. I didn't catch. That's it's all right. I think at this point we both were like we're we're just like <laughs> too many things going on. Yeah. So I'm trying to clarify like what is blocker not. So I'm like okay, well we got to do something. So we crack the training to reduce the next digi by two, going into arrow V for a cost of one. Uh, finally draw a rookie, going to yeah. Gao in the back. So okay. At this point, I'm like, okay, well, if I swing and he blocks, you know, it kind of, I kind of lose that jamming play, and I don't want to waste my Thomases right now. Mm -hmm. I just go into Mirage to bounce the blocker, see, or yeah, blocker sister, uh, gain two memory because of the cards in his hand. Um, and at this point, I'm like, I could probably do a few things. Um, I just want to make sure I set it up effectively. Because I do have the two checks now from Arrow V that's live. I do go into Mirage to return a Thomas to hand. Mm -hmm. um, choosing to bounce the Jess back to Gunther's hand. Clear that stack and then should get an additional two memory. Yeah, that's the safest play. Yeah, he's, looks, he's counting cards. Looks like 11 right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we go ahead and I believe we do, we do swing here for two checks at 15. We'll use his effect first to randomly just take away three to put him back to eight and we'll restand. And then we say, okay, cool, we live. So we, now we do two checks. We proc Thomas so we both draw and then I can proc his when attacking again to bottom deck one. Bottom deck one, restand. Mm -hmm. Do another two checks. Do another two checks, yep. Uh, he's, he's been. He's been I was know. like, okay, we swing, he, and then I hopefully yeah. can just restand Thomas yeah. again to live, and then he's Jesus an says, range. Jesus says, I did enough for you today. We're done. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Just one, no DP boost, <laughs> no egg. Oh. And I was like, no. It, yeah, that's unfortunate. Game on, game on board. So I was like, okay, well. Yeah. Only hope is that, you know, he doesn't have another, like, level 4 and then can Chimera. Mm -hmm. um, that was, that's literally my only hope. I don't think, I was like, hyper for game, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you, were you missing a uh, 4 in hand? No, I, I think, uh, no, I wasn't missing a 4. It was just uh, like, because um, if I didn't do the Sora, he could just swing, right? So. Oh, uh, okay. No, I think our big idea was because you're at three. Because you're you're at three, so you could have just digivolved and then put him to. Cause he has oh the... sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, I think that was my brain doing what I usually do, which is like, oh, I'm a choke. Yeah. Put him to one. It's like, oh, memory center. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we, all, we all do it. We all do it. <laughs> Happens. Yeah, kind of. So he searches. I think, I think he used his chimeras. Like he yeah. used one and then bottom decked one. So yeah, I think at this think point it... he's like, oh, well, I just have to s set up and hope he can find the blocker CL or blocker sister. Yeah, because it was bottomed from your effect, right? Yeah, yeah, and he didn't have the blocker blanc. So just go up swing. So. Oh, that's such a good option, dude. Yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, I that think was... I. Did benefit from a little bit of luck on that one, but it was a pretty good game. A lot of back and forth there, which is good. Yeah. Right. I mean, both decks. Uh, both decks have some difficulty finding pieces. Mm -hmm. Just the nature, the nature of red decks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just red <laughs> and just like these big stack decks that want to go for OTK. I feel like that's just what you're yeah. playing with. Um, but yeah, we'll be moving into a game three, which is always good. Um, and it is a tight game three as well, so it should be a good one. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I think... I think both decks will still be decent in BT14. I think Mirage may struggle against some of the, like, wide board decks, or, like, D-Brigade, for example, right, with, like, a ton of blockers. I think sometimes it'll struggle to deal with that. Yeah. Um, but it still has a pretty decent matchup. You know, still can pretty, like, have those, like, pretty explosive plays. Yeah, as long as... As long as you have your perfect line, like, it, yeah. it just, it takes off so quickly. Same with Jess. You know, I think Jess, it's interesting with this, like, OTK build that I think Jarell is also trying out, too. Yeah. The amount of, well, I mean, the amount of times Jarell has dropped uh, Jess, check me for four, and they're like, okay, go, I have, <laughs> I have <laughs> just on GX and four sisters in play. <laughs> I, I uh, like, just got my rookie finally. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the pack. <laughs> I played a like, training last turn. I set him to two. It's that. It's that like Peter Griffin meme. You're like, what the hell? I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> then you're also the Peter Griffin meme after he hits you, where you go, Ow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here, uh, just to summarize the things that have been going on, I I do see a rookie, thankfully. So. Prayers yeah, were answered, yeah. we build into a Vidra, and then we see Gunther here, he goes into Huck, and then he's just like, searching and yeah. digging, setting up trash. Trying to from set up trash. Or yeah. master into a red boost. Then you I do a training. You have two Hucks? It yeah. Is. Yeah. Do training to pick up the Galga. Then do another training. Double training. Double training? I mean, it's a solid line. Yeah. You, you're, you're going into... You're going into level six for usually like three to four memory. Yeah, for Mirage, it's it's, yeah, insane. it's, it's absolutely invaluable. But you, keep looks like you, yeah, it looks like you're having a little bit of trouble finding your pieces as well. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, have Once to take again, that uh, the burst go mode. Gaga, and then we use Gaga to effect to play out a Thomas, which yeah, always solid playing out. Yeah. Four for two memory. Especially with the like, he's still setting up. I feel like you know, even if I can get some early chip damage with the, with the four, it's always a good good value play. Mhm. Mm like, no, it looks I, like he's he's also still. He's still sure. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. And when I saw that Chimera get bottomed, I'm like, yes. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, seeing all the sisters, <laughs> Chimera is scary. Um, so here I'm at three, and I think I'm like trying to think about how I want to go because I'm like, yeah. Once he starts going, I'm in deep trouble. So I'm like, do I try to go as quickly as I can, or do I maybe wait another turn? Because uh, I do have my mirages, I just don't have a burst mode. Do you have your your mockgals in hand too? Uh, I believe or, so, yeah. Or, or level, I guess any any, any level, level 5. Or, yeah, I have an arrow V in there too as well, which I'm like, I could in theory possibly just end it. They so go yeah. in there for 1. He doesn't have anything that can block me. So I can go ahead and... I think I do have the restand Thomas in hand too, so if I can get enough memory, I can kind of do that. Mm -hmm. but I think that's a little bit risky. It, it is. So, I think I end up... I think you you can you can do it from here. Um, you can yeah. Yeah, go yeah. swing for the swing with the arrow V. Um, check once and then yeah. Right, you're, yeah. You're, 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 you're seeing the play. He's seeing the play. His He's brain. Doing <laughs> you're doing it. So it bounces game that. Two, game game one off of the yeah. uh, Gaumon effect. So we go to three. Go back to three. Play out Thomas. the Thomas Drop for three. Card. Yep. Yep. Well, and gain a memory since I have the Vidra inheritable restand. Yeah. yeah, I have Buka in, my, in hand or er, in the stack now too. So he does have jamming, um, and I'm not afraid of his options because he doesn't have anything that'll delete him. So check for two. Um, swing here for one check. If I had a burst mode, it would have been great, but we don't have burst mode unfortunately. Uh, burst mode, burst mode would have I think sealed the deal. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. At that point, I'm like, well, you know, let's just buy board. You know, have could just give him more bodies to have to deal with. Mm hmm In hopes that I can just squeeze out this next game. And yeah. Then, yeah, just put him in a spot where he has to do something. Yeah, you, you saw that you bottom deck a Chimera, so yeah, you know, he'll he'll have to answer all three bodies. Um. 
No, that's that, that can be pretty tough for him. Well, he does have a lot of memory to work with. It is yeah hard <laughs> hill to climb up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the from master disciple plus the the red man boost. Yeah. yeah. So he does, does this type to crack it. Goes to five. Mm -hmm. uh, he has savior in hand, so he chooses to do master disciple. Yeah, there's a savior for one, two? Yeah. Yeah, for two. <laughs> Place he'll gain, gain like three memory back. Yep. Three memory. Oh my god. Um, and is able to digivolve into Jess. He should gain a memory, I believe, from the CL, right? Yeah. No, uh, no, no, he's. No. He, that CL is the on play gain one. That's, yeah, okay, that's okay. the on play gain one plus 2k DP. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's blitz in, plays out another one to gain a memory. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We'll restand off a of savior effect. Um, and I do proc Mirage Gao's effect to gain two memory. Okay. He does choose to swing at my Mirage to just get rid of it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, he does have a GX in hand, which is going to be problematic. This is when you run the one Zoot away so you could go on over that Mirage Gao and then mm. strip sword and bounce the sister. Oh, yeah. Easy. Dude, you, you want to bounce the sister? <laughs> I mean, if you strip the memory gain, it's not the worst True. thing. Right? Yeah. Three stands and swings into my other guy. Again, yeah. just to start clearing board. Plays out another sister. Mm -hmm. um, just to pitch and draw two. Which is always a solid line. Pitch, draw two. Um, you want as many sisters in trash. I think he's just thinking about what he wants to do. He's debating the GX play, which I think is is probably his best move right now. It's a, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a solid play. Um, yeah. It goes into it. He's able to slide something. Yeah. If he draws the Jess Axe off of that. Oh, God. <laughs> and then he has the reboot seal, which oh. will let him restand. Look for another Royal Knight. And I'm sitting there. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's a big board. Have, yeah. <laughs> this is when you have the BT13 Mirage to easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy clap. Oh. We're going to our rookie to help just keep digging. But I think, I'm like, okay, I don't have a way to like cheaply go up a line. You know. Oh, I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I also know what he's thinking. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just a... You see it. You, you see it. Yeah. You see them. You see them. Yeah. So we go in. We we're able to bounce one, which is fine. Um, and then we say, okay, well, our only play is Sorai. So mm -hmm. We strip four sources, um, and then he can't swing with his sisters. Mm-hmm. And then takes away that additional check from Ty as well. But also, you know, takes takes the um. Is that GX next yeah. turn? If he kept all those sources, would have been swinging for four checks. Yeah. And then restanding with Savior is just I, I would yeah. be dead. Taking the GX and heritable. We'll take him down to two. He can't unsuspend any. I was only gonna be doing for two checks now. I thought you were gonna soar right twice. Yeah. Oh god. I thought about yeah. it. I thought about That's it. That's what I thought you were gonna do because I saw you had two yeah. cards. I thought you did, did it once, did it twice, and just make it so you can't do it anything. I, at all. I thought about it, but I'm like, if he drew into a chimera and is able to string along plays again, I kind of wanted to keep it like a second yeah, one for just sure. in case. It, it, it can um, definitely. Be. And I think, if we'll see, but I think it. Yeah. Okay. I, it does come up again. Where I think I saw mm -hmm. it next turn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and he, he did have the chimera. Yeah, he did have the chimera. He slips the savior underneath. Um, and that's terrorist why well, you're the better player than me. No. Because <laughs> no, no. I would have just thrown it twice and called it a day. Goes ahead, swings with GX for two checks. Um, goes Thomas. And then the Makgao from BT13. I think here he's just thinking about how he wants to play things oh, yeah. out. Take one switch with what he's gonna digital. Yeah, on. yeah, because I think he's just mucked up with the starter deck Jesses. Mm -hmm. I think he might have a GX in hand, or not GX, X antibody in hand, I'm not sure, but he definitely has a starter deck Jesses. 
he doesn't have the X antibody in hand, he can't. Yeah. Do it, which is a big concern. The and GX has blocker. Right? It does. It does. So he does have the reboot seal out. So he'll definitely have a blocker on board. I think okay. his main thing as well is um, he did bottom deck a lot of his like sisters. Yeah. Um, and a lot of his like Royal Knights pieces, like by his like Red Men boost and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. unfortunately, he's just not his trash isn't set up the way you would want it to be. But he does blitz with Jess, unsuspends off his Savior Huck, and then just swings through the rest of my security. And he's mm -hmm. like, "All right, have fun. Have fun at your memory. Just yeah." So he only has one block around board, and I think I do. Um. I'm like thinking about a couple things and I was like, well, like, Spooka, he's yeah, he's got so many cards in hand. I'm like, I could just go into Mirage and I should be okay. But I'm like, oh, could I just like maybe go into like a level five and then use Thomas to unsus unsuspend, you know? Yeah. And then swing again, like force him to use a blocker. But because at this point, this guy's going to be 11k, I believe. And then, so you go into the, that's the... That's the blocker. That's the blocker uh, one, yeah. Block out, right? Yeah. That gives you close to KDP for every four cards in hand. So he's yeah. right now 11. Yeah. So I do that, go to Mirage, bounce the last security, uh, gain a memory, then gain three because he has 12 in hand or 13 in Shouldn't hand. Shouldn't you have point. bounced one of the sisters? Yeah, you would have bounced a sister instead. Oof. But yeah. I, I mean, I realistically. Think ultimately, it didn't matter, but it, yeah, it I should have bounced one of the sisters. Yeah, yeah that was a. Yeah. Technically, if you could have stopped me, that would have been. That would have been a huge mm -hmm. misplay. But, yeah, technically should have bounced the sister, swung, and then I think... Wait. No, no, yeah, I go into burst yeah. mode. Yeah, go into burst yeah, mode, you, and you then bounce his GX, GX, and, GX and then fine. swing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the, the burst so mode... cards in hand you want to suspend. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter if you even if you lose the stack to another... If that was a, another GX and you lose that stack again... <laughs> I have the little guy in the back. Yeah, you have the little yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had the game either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no way for you to lose the stack because you have the DP boost off of the mm -hmm. BT11 uh, mock. Yeah. Good games, though, Ben. Yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. Good games. It was good. It was good to play yeah. blue again. Um, I think I've been telling mm -hmm. you guys, but definitely miss playing blue. I've been playing a lot of like purple, a lot of cross, a lot of hunters. Mm -hmm. Like, good to get back awesome. to the good old blue. It, it is. Gunther too. Gunther. Yeah. yeah. No, these were really. It was, it, they were really good games. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing them. So, um, yeah, really good. A little bit of a longer one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the kind of three-game thriller that we had going. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah. It looked. It looked spooky from both sides. <laughs> both sides yeah. losing. Both sides losing something to like just a huge security Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, definitely fun games. We will have round two coming up very shortly. Uh, mm -hmm. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys think of this. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy the commentary series, so thanks for all the support, and we'll catch you over at round two. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.